Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I've got a very juicy one today because in this video, I'm gonna be diving deep into how I make $40,000 predictably every single month and how I've been able to create an ecosystem for myself of financial vehicles that allow me to make that amount almost passively predictably every single month. And look, you might've seen similar videos around YouTube, but the one thing that I see people lack is a lack of proof. I'm not saying they're not making that amount, but as a viewer, I wanna see concrete examples. And that is why I'm going to be logging into my Stripe account, really show you guys a behind the scenes look into my numbers and how this past month of October, I made $40,175. And that $40,175 is cash collected and profit. So money in my bank account. If we factor in uh, split payments, if we factor in performance driven incentives and sources of income that I will talk about in just a second, it comes out to be around $55,000 a month. Now, why am I making this video? Because it's surely not to brag. And I also don't have a $1,000 or $2,000 course to sell you. I personally only do one-to-one -one mentorship on the side as a passion project with a very select few people. So why am I making this video? The true reason why I'm making this video is because if you had told me more than a year ago that I'd be making 40K per month, every single month predictably, I would not have believed you. Back then I was stuck in uni. I was doing the course that I absolutely hated, right? That I absolutely despised. I wanted to start a business. I wanted to impact people. I wanted to add value to businesses and really build something special with a team that I could call my own business, right? And that is why I'm making this video to show you and to tell you that it's possible. It's not easy, but it's simple. And with the right guidance and the work ethic, as cheesy as it may sound, you too can do it. I am simply not smarter than you. <laughs> So with that being said, let's get right into the video. The only thing that I ask from you is go ahead and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out down with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, the first thing that I wanna cover is the definition of passive income because it's a word that I used in my title. It's not clickbait, right? But I feel like a lot of people get the definition completely wrong, completely ass backwards. And the reason why I say that is because the definition of passive income is not just sitting on a beach and then just seeing the money come through, right? Yes, you can get to that point, but before you get to that point, you need to do some upfront work. And the funny thing is all these people that preach passive income and they say, hey, I wanna build a business that you know generates me passive income, they're never up for the initial work that needs to be put in to create a business that can run and sustain itself without you being in it every single minute and slaving away hours on end. So before we actually start, I wanted you to have that definition in mind because I believe so many people get the definition of passive income just completely wrong. So in a nutshell, creating passive income comes down to creating systems, creating processes, creating a business that can sustain itself without our involvement every single day. With that being said, the first source of income and by far the main source of income in the whole equation is my social media marketing agency. And what we do is we take e-commerce brands that we truly believe in, that have an amazing product, that have an amazing team, and we go ahead and transform them into market leaders by scaling them to seven and eight figures. That is really the mission. So now let's get into the numbers. Here is my Stripe uh, account. And you can see here, that is Mobile C Media. That is the name of my agency. From the 1st of October to the 31st of October, that is a gross volume of $80,938, which comes out to roughly $38,000, $39,000. Why am I seeing figures in dollars? It's not to make them look bigger, it's simply because my audience is mostly based out in the US, so it makes more sense. Also, all the YouTube videos that you see on these topics are in US dollars, so it just makes more sense, right? Um, that is the gross volume. Now, one of the things about the agency business model is that it's got insane profit margins. So it's not like a dropshipping business where sure, you could be making 100K, right? But that is revenue, that is not profit. So all you see in here is essentially profit. I've got around an 85 to 90% profit margin, and that is with team members, right? And I pay my team members very well. Um, and so that is that for the figures for the month of October. Um, and here you can see, for example, the 21st of October, I had uh, a day where I made more than uh, $10,000. So that is that for my Stripe account, for my social media marketing agency. Stripe is obviously only one of the payment processors that I use for my business and to process my earnings around 10 to 15% is processed through PayPal and uh, direct bank transfers like this and this one. So that is that for my agency. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, well, an agency is not really passive income. Like uh, all the agencies that I know or freelancers or contractors uh, that do Facebook ads like we do for our clients and we do a bit of Google ads as well, you're literally in the trenches every single day by right? running ads for businesses and, and, um, and growing their business online, right? That is not passive income. You cannot be chilling at the beach, right? And have your clients be incredibly happy like our clients. And what I would say to that is two things. Number one is our pricing structure. So for all of the clients that we have in our agency, we have a performance driven incentives. So even though we have our base retainers, for example, this one right here, right? That is a base retainer. On top of that, we charge a performance driven incentive. What does that actually mean? Number one is that our value is not reflected on the hours that we put in, right? Because we could launch an incredibly successful campaign that 
and makes over a million bucks, right? And we take a good chunk of that. So that is the first passive income component. And the second thing is we can launch a campaign, right? And the lifetime value of that campaign could be hundreds of thousands of dollars over the long run. And for that amount of work that we put in this month, we're going to see the fruits of that labor for the next few months. And that's going to keep making our clients a lot of money. And we're obviously going to be compensated for that every single month, right? Because we charge our base retainer plus the performance driven incentive. So that is the price and structure on how I make the agency model passive. And the second way I make it passive is by building systems, by building processes, by building automations, and by having an incredible a team. For example, just before recording this video, I jumped on a client call. So it was my Google Ads expert and it was myself. And my Google Ads expert took the lead of the call. I barely even spoke, right? So I've created incredible systems, I've created incredible processes, and I've put incredible people into an ecosystem where they can thrive. Now, don't get me wrong, I love getting involved because I love building businesses online and I love taking care of my team members and I love taking care of my clients. But if I wanted to and it wasn't my choice, I could literally spend three to four hours on my agency and it would still work, sustain itself, and generate incredible results for our clients. That is not to say that at the very start of building my agency before I had my A team or my systems and processes, I battle tested a ton of concepts and put in eight, 10 hours every single day building what I've built, right? But at this current point, since I put the upfront work, it works for me. So that is the main source of income, my social media marketing agency, now onto the second one, which is my personal brand. There's a saying that I really resonate with, and that is money follows attention. And that is really the massive value of building a personal brand. Whatever niche you are, if you build attention around your personal brand and you can attract eyeballs to your personal brand, to your content, people are watching your videos, what do you have to say around specific services, products, or a business model specifically, money will follow because you have attention on your personal brand. And not only brands will pay a lot of money for that, but individuals and business owners will pay a lot of money for your guidance, for your coaching, for your mentorship. However, and having spoken to hundreds of influencers at this point, it's actually pretty sad to see some influencers who have massive audiences. I'm talking one, two, even five million, right? Across all their platforms and they still don't know how to monetize that audience because they don't know how to add value in return for monetary uh, gain, right? So it's really, really important to know how to actually structure your personal brand to make sure that you can optimize it, uh, to make sure you keep generating value for people and, and to make sure you can actually sustain yourself. Um, and the second thing that I would say is, sure, a personal brand is not super passive, but it's similar to my social media marketing agency where, yes, I'm recording this video and yes, I'm taking out uh, hours of my day to record this video. And then I'm actually investing money for my editor to edit this, right? And then we're launching to YouTube. But I know that the lifetime value of this video, hopefully, right, is going to be quite large. It's going to be much larger than the initial time investment that I put into creating this video. And if you want to help me with that, all you got to do is just smash the like button. Uh, YouTube just finds it incredibly sexy when that like button turns blue, and I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get back into how I monetize my YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, I've got right now, how many subs do I have? Uh, to do. Okay, so right now, the time I'm recording this, I've got 24,200 subs on YouTube. And last month, I believe I made $515, something like that. So it fluctuates between $500 to $1,000 every single month. But I never started YouTube for the YouTube AdSense. I know that maybe in a few months, maybe in a year, or maybe six months, depends on how the channel goes, I could be making between, you know, three, five, you know, 7K, even 10K a month uh, with just YouTube AdSense. I think that's a realistic point that I could get to, but regardless, it's a pretty insignificant fee, but it's pretty nice for buying things like equipment and all that stuff, right? The way I make most of the money through YouTube is just purely through mentorship. So I've been able to attract eyeballs in my specific niche. I've been able to add value to people and I've never reached out to anyone, right? And so just purely from that attention, people reach out to me. Then I select people that are the right fit. Then without even advertising it, they see a link in my description. And then I go ahead and select the people that are right fit for my one-to-one -one mentorship. So that is how I monetize YouTube. Yes, I've gotten some brand deals coming my way, but especially for YouTube, I just completely turned them down. Honestly, I just value authenticity uh, way higher than a brand deal uh, coming my way. So for YouTube for now, I don't do any brand deals and that is my YouTube strategy. Now my next channel of monetization is my TikTok account where I've got currently, at the time I'm recording this, 414,500 followers. The first way that I monetize my TikTok is through the TikTok Creator Fund. Basically, it's uh, similar to AdSense in a way, uh, where uh, TikTok pays creators for placing ads in front of their videos. Again, it's a very tiny amount. Uh, I'm actually haven't checked in a while. Um, so that is how I've made, how much I've made from the TikTok Creator Fund. Let's see if this focuses. Uh, I don't think it's going to focus, but essentially it's uh, 282.35 euros. Um, and so I've got some days where uh, yesterday actually was uh, 21.86 euros. Um, and then, you know, it varies from 17, 9, 4, 5, 
uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty unpredictable. And again, I'm not making TikToks for the TikTok creator fund money. Uh, honestly, I make TikToks because I uh, enjoy it a lot. Uh, it's kind of my uh, creative outlet and it's a way to attract a lot of eyeballs to my personal brand. So I funnel a lot of the attention I get on TikTok, which is more shallow surface level, um, you know, passive content uh, consumption from my followers. And then I funnel that into my YouTube where I can add more value to them and they can consume my free trainings, etc., etc. But the second way I make money on TikTok is through brand deals. So on YouTube, none of that. But on TikTok, if I truly believe in the company, if I think it's gonna be very organic and very authentic, I do say yes to brand deals and I partner with the likes of Shopify, Upwork, uh, Founder Magazine, Blue Social, and as some of these deals have been uh, four-figure deals, obviously I can't disclose uh, how much they actually pay me, but four-figure deals for one single video. Um, and that is a 15 second to a 30 second video. So it's a pretty decent amount, I'm not complaining. Um, and to be honest, I, I never thought I would uh, I would get to that point where I'm working with Shopify, um, you know, Upwork, the likes of Founder Magazine, um, whose content I actually used to consume back in the day. Uh, and so for me, it's more of a kind of like a passion project and I find it really cool to work with brands um, like those. So that's really why I do brand deals. Also some of the brands that have come to me for a brand deal on TikTok, uh, I've actually gotten them involved into uh, my agency. And so it works out pretty nice. And as a final thing, the money that I make from the brand deals sustains my lifestyle. So it pays for my apartment, it pays for my groceries, it pays for my video editor as well, uh, it pays for my bills, et cetera, et cetera. So that is that for my personal brand. That is the second way that I make my money. And the third way is investments. Now, before I get into this next and final financial vehicle, I just wanna say that I disagree with most of the common advice uh, when it comes to investing. A lot of people seem to be under the impression that you can just invest your way into becoming a millionaire, and that is completely false. And uh, they'll tell you that if you just invest, you know, a hundred bucks a month every single day, um, then by the time you're, you know, 70, uh, you have, you know, 5 million in your bank account. Uh, number one, that is not a factor for inflation, right? So those 5 million are not worth 5 million, right? They're probably worth like, you know, 500K uh, or, uh, or even a million. And the second thing is, what is the point of living a frugal, and that's probably not the right word because I would say that I'm pretty frugal myself, you know? I don't really like buying fancy clothes myself. Uh, you won't see me driving around a, a Lambo or whatever it is uh, on my YouTube channel. But essentially, what's the point of living a life where you're not financially free, where you're still stressing about money until you get to, you know, 60, 70 years old, where you don't really have as much energy or time to enjoy the wealth you've created, right? So the aim is not just to become financially wealthy, but have abundance of time and energy. And so ideally, that's why it's important to become financially wealthy or at least put the right foundations in place in your 20s. Obviously, your 30s is not a bad age either, but at least having the right foundations in your 20s. A really good book to read on this is The Millionaire Fast Lane. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and read that book because it will open your eyes to the fact that most of the financial advice that you hear out there from the biggest gurus in this space uh, is completely backwards, right? If you actually wanna live a life of financial freedom uh, when you're young and doing your life, not just when you're you know, 80 and in your deathbed, and uh, sure, your compound interest has uh, compounded enough that you are a millionaire. Uh, in your bank account. And so with that being said, and in a nutshell, what I want you guys to take away from that point is that investments are not a wealth creator. They are a wealth amplifier, meaning build a business that generates enough income so you can actually amplify that with investments. Do not purely rely on investments to make you wealthy. A business that adds value to people at a massive scale and generates revenue predictably, that is what's gonna be your wealth creator, right? Investments is only a wealth amplifier. With that being said, I keep a lot of my money just pure cash because as an entrepreneur, having cash gives you an advantage. A lot of people think that there's no value in just having cash laying around. Well, there is because you don't have it tied up to an asset, right? So I, I keep a lot of my money just pure cash. And if I do invest it, I invest it into high risk, high yield uh, investments. Like for example, Bitcoin. Next year, I think the housing market will crash and then I will invest into uh, real estate, especially once I get my income to 100K every single month, predictably. So that is that for my income breakdown. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna continue the conversation with me, you can go ahead and join my free Facebook Mastermind. It's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their business, level up in life. Um, and it's honestly an incredible community. Uh, so if you wanna join that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. If you're a good fit, we'll let you in. It's completely free, there's no strings attached. And I really hope to see you on my next video that I upload on personal finance, entrepreneurship, marketing, um, and a bunch of other really, really cool topics. If you wanna see that next video, then I recommend you go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one, peace.